I'm going to go over the basic navigation of the Vision Pro 8000 made by Honeywell. Um, a lot of people in the industry call this the Red Link. Um, the model number is a TH8320R1003. This is a very popular thermostat in the residential side and the commercial side. And Honeywell is one of the leading companies in the industry for controls and thermostats. I took this thermostat off the wall just so it's easier to see to kind of go over some of the functions. I am not going to do any of the in-depth programming that would be done typically by your HVAC company. I'll cover all that in a, a different video. This would be more the the homeowner or business owner operations of the thermostat. I'm going to go over some of the tabs up top, this home fan system menu, and just kind of go in depth what each one has and what features each each of them have. Uh, yours might be a little different than what you see here. It all just depends how your system was set up from the, the installer. Uh, if you have like a heat only system or a heat with air conditioning or if you have a heat pump, everything might look a little different, like so let's say under the system tab. So most of this should still be good information for you regardless of what system you have. It's all pretty much about the same uh, as far as just like the simplicity of the overall readout. The first one here I'm going to go over is the home button. I honestly use this more of like a refresh. It just gets you back to this home screen where you kind of know. So if you're messing around in one of these other tabs, let's say fan, and you just want to get back and out of this, you can just hit home and it'll take you right back to the home screen. So it's a pretty handy little button to hit. The next would be the fan option. Um, basically, once you hit it, it'll give you a few options. Auto will bring it on or off whenever you're in a call for heat or cooling. Your circulate, if you leave it in that all the time, it will periodically bring on the fan throughout the day just to kind of circulate the air throughout the house. It's on its own internal schedule uh, if you decide to go that option. And then on is basically just on 24-7 all day, every day, until you basically tell it otherwise. So I'm going to hit done and go back to the systems. Systems, right now I have this thermostat is set up for a heat pump mode. So you'll see heat, which is basically your actual heat pump. Cool, which is your air conditioning through the heat pump. Auto basically kind of just figures out everything for yourself. Um, a lot of people just leave it in this mode. It just makes life a little bit easier. Off is obviously off. It just shuts the system off. And then EM heat would be your backup source of heat. So you could either have strip heat, so like an electric element inside your furnace, or you could have uh, maybe propane or natural gas um, as your backup source of heat. Typically, when you select EM heat, it'll bring on a little red light right here, just so you know that you're using your emergency heat. Also, this thermostat will give you faults, uh, like just simple faults, typically with this little red light, like if the batteries are low or something like that. Sometimes it might bring on that red light. You can actually see that red light now is was just flashing there, um, just indicating that the EM heat, which is emergency heat, was on. Just letting you know that you're not being as energy efficient as you could be with your heat pump. Next, I'm going to hit the menu button here. Um, one of the most commonly used things on the menu is edit schedule. Uh, I'm going to hit select, and right here it says use schedule assistance. I, If you hit yes, it basically walks you through a pretty simplified way to program your system. I'm going to show you the other option, which is by hitting no. And I'm just going to select a couple days here. Um, so I'll just hit Monday and Tuesday. I mean, you could pick whatever days you want. If there are certain days you work, certain days you don't. I'm going to hit next. And now it's giving me a bunch of options here. Is This one's set up for four periods, but you don't have to do four periods if you don't want to. You can have that set up to just like a wake and a sleep, so basically morning and night. I'm just going to kind of simplify it for the video and just do the morning and night. Um, Right here in the morning, it's flashing wake. So I'll just say 6 a.m. We want it to kick on to 70 degrees heat, and we'll do 75 cool. And then the next, 
You can also adjust your fan settings. So if you wanted it to turn on during uh, the morning time frame or auto or circulate, you could pick. I'm just going to leave it in auto. And then I'm going to hit sleep. So now I'm just going to say we'll just leave it at 10 p.m. Sounds good. And it's going to go to 62 for heat and 82 for cool. And I'm just going to hit done. And you can basically do this for the leave and return and so on. So if you have a, a normal 9 to 5 where you get up, get ready for work, leave for work. And then you can have it bump down a little bit. You get back from work. And then you have it kick on again. And then at night you have it adjust again. So it just gives you quite a few options here. I'm just going to hit done. And so if I wanted to schedule those other days differently, I could hit yes and pick you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or whatever days I want to pick. I'm going to just hit no, so we go on to the next portion. So next here, I'm going to go down, and if we want to view our schedule and not make any adjustments, I can hit select, and it will show me basically what everything's scheduled, what's on, the fan's on, what period, the time frame, the temperatures. Uh, so it really just walks you through everything, which makes life a little bit easier to, to kind of see what you have just done, if you did it right, or if you like what you've done. Next here is the vacation mode. I'm going to hit select. So if you actually have a vacation plan where you're gone for two weeks and you want to adjust your schedule, you can plug that all in here and basically do a, a date you leave and a date you return. I'm just going to hit cancel because it's kind of self-explanatory. And next here is a equipment status, which is kind of self-explanatory. It just kind of shows you what mode you're in, what's on, if anything is on or off. Uh, you can just kind of walk through and see if your system is supposed to be doing something. If it's, say, your actual heat pump or furnace or AC is actually broken, you can get an idea if it's even getting a call from the thermostat. Just the date and time. You can just hit select and you can change your time, your date. Um, this one's pretty self-explanatory. Some of the other options is clean screen. If you hit select, it actually just blanks out the screen for about 30 seconds. Uh, if you're like, going to clean your thermostat or anything like that and you just don't want to worry about stuff getting adjusted or temperatures getting off from someone bumping something they're not supposed to. Uh, the next one would be security settings. If you hit select, basically you can lock your thermostat out. So this is more for a commercial, typically more of a commercial ap application. If you have people who keep messing with the thermostat, you could change lock mode so I'm just going to hit select and then you can do unlocked partially locked where basically just adjust the temperature a little bit and that's about it or fully locked where they can't do anything and then once you decide what you want you can basically just make it create a password and then you have to know the password to get in to do anything. Dealer information typically not every company puts this information in but a lot of times they can put like their name of the business and their address and phone number and stuff like that so you know who to get a hold of if say your system isn't working it just makes it easier for you to get the information of who was out there last under preferences if you select this you can set up reminders um, for say humidifiers or filter changes stuff like that um, you can also do the Fahrenheit and Celsius uh, and also basically how you want your clock to read out Lastly is the installer options. I'm not going to go too far into that on this video. That's going to be more of the in-depth for the install of the thermostat. Um, so usually if you actually did hit the button and you hit select, it needs a password. Um, if you don't have the password, really you can't get in. Typically, it's not worth really getting into and trying to mess with that kind of stuff unless you really know what you're doing. Do a simple readout on the screen. Right here showing you your time that it is right now. This is the temperature in the house that you're in. Um, this would be your heat setting. So anytime it drops below 62 degrees, it'll bring on your heat. And anytime it goes up, well in this instance, anytime it goes above 85, the air conditioning would come on. If you want to do like, if you didn't want to do the programming and you just did like a temporary hold, you could do a temporary hold that'll hold it till say 6 p.m. Or if you go over and hit permanent hold and hit done it's going to hold it at these temperatures 24 7 all day every day until something's changed that's pretty much the good overview of how this thermostat works if you have any questions feel free to comment below um, i will be bringing out another video on more of the install side of things on how the installation works 
uh, in a video coming up.